Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is going to be about cropping and mainly kind of cropping in a circle. So if you don't have anything selected on your page, when you go to the crop tool and you come over and crop, and let's say you have a lot of text or some other pictures that you crop, everything else on the page is cropped out. To avoid that, you've got to have the picture selected that you want to crop, and then you go to crop and crop, and it will only crop the picture that you selected. So instead of cropping and getting all this you know, clear crop and all this other stuff, you can crop with the rectangle tool, select both items and go to the intersect tool. And now you have that picture cropped out. But what the video is really about is cropping with a circle. You can take any shape. I want to make it a little bit bigger. Select both items and intersect it. Now you have that picture in a circle. It's much like power clipping, but power clipping sometimes leaves residue I found, and especially with a laser engraver, might uh, leave some, uh, I don't know, it just it's hard to say. Let's power clip this, let's take this picture, go to object, power clip, place inside frame. See, it did the same thing. Uh, two things, the picture's gone and get rid of the outline, but a lot of people have told me, I've never really seen proof of it, that there is some background noise in power clipping. Doesn't look like there is, but sometimes there is. But the advantage of using the intersect tool or whatever is that you still have your picture. So if we select these, let me get rid of the yellow, go up to weld and intersect, you still have your picture. It hasn't changed your picture where the power clipping took your picture away. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.